It's Sean Simpson here. I was going to ask you, you know, you know a lot of fighters from back in the amateurs, you know, like you mentioned Spence. I think you know Javante Davis pretty well too. Tell me about just knowing these guys like before their fame, before they were, you know, these at the level they're at. Yeah, those are my boys. Uh, actually, I was just in Dallas earlier, earlier this, this year, like around February. And, uh, and I was with Earl for his birthday, so you know, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. We went out for his birthday again. Uh, Is he still like the same guy to you, same yeah, rapport? Yeah, when I was with him, he was the same guy. You know, he showed me a lot of love when I was in Dallas. And then, uh, you know, me and Tank, uh, since we was like 10 years old, we worked with each other. So. Yeah, yeah. You told me about that once, but did you ever fight each other or you were just around? Nah, it was always a weight class difference. Either when we was real little, I was probably a weight class higher than him. He was one lower, but as we got older, when we got in the men's division, I was 114, he was 123. Okay. So in 2012, we both won a national voting list together. Mm -hmm. so he, he Where was that at? In Mesquite, Nevada. Oh, yeah? That's the, the same day that we won the National Golden Gloves. They took all the winners of the National Golden Gloves and we went to the Floyd and Cotto fight. Okay, nice. So they um, took all the winners there. That was a good deal. Um, knowing uh, Javante, let's talk about him. What was it like when he was that young? Like, what, what was he like as a person? Funny and crazy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> In what way? I mean, I mean, he always been crazy to me, so I mean, he just, that's just how he is, that's his, that's him, he's, he's a crazy person, but he, all, he was always cool, laid back dude, though, like, yeah, yeah. Was one of the dudes, like, I actually, actually, for the Floyd and McDonald fight, like, I was with him the whole weekend, like, just him. Out in Vegas? Yeah, him and uh, Kareem Martin. Kareem, yeah, yeah, Kareem. Shout out to him, too. What was it like knowing Kareem? And I know all of them dudes. All, all of them cool. You know, I wouldn't hang out with nobody that I didn't like. So. Right, right. What about their, their like Tank as a fighter? You know, now he these cold, days. He cold. Yeah. He cold. He's very explosive. You can tell these days. Was he strong? Like, really, for his weight. And it's crazy because it was like, I guess because when we was fighting amateurs, three minute rounds. Like I didn't see it, but as a pro, it's like, dang, like this dude really hit hitting this hard now. And, and when I ask people that sparred him or been in the ring with him, they say they actually say he he hit as hard as his record say. Yeah. Did you, you ever never spar with him or anything? Never spar, never spar. Who are some of your best fights as an amateur? Like anything stand out? Any names or just any tournaments? Um, I love I, I love fighting Rashid. More? Yeah. And it's crazy because he, he was like. A, you know, when we fought, he was older, I was younger. So I was like, it was a thing, like, I looked up to him. Right. But at the same time, it was like, man, that's the person I gotta fight. And I still, you know, to this day, I still call him, like, my big brother. You know? like, right, right. What was, what was it like being in the ring with him? He's pretty fast. Right. <laughs> He's fast, but he, um, he got a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. it's his ring, like, we being young, that's how he be with be with his experience. And also speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, but I think I think speed wise I can I can kind of match it with that, but his experience would always give me an idea. Got you now. What about uh Earl Spence when he was an amateur? What'd you notice about him? Earl just always been Earl. Like if anybody asked me in the past, like out of anybody from that 2012 Olympic team who would be the man, I would always say Earl Spence. Like I just knew you know, he was the one. I yeah. re actually, I remember we went to, um, we was coming from Russia and we went to Ukraine. And it was me, I was sitting in the middle. Earl was on the side of me and Kenny Porter was sitting next to me. Yeah. Because Kenny Porter was our coach and our plane was about to crash. Like, like man, it was, it was scary. Like, it kept dropping and everything. Turbulence, huh? Yeah, it wasn't even a turbulence, it was something, it was something that the, the gear ship wouldn't, wouldn't come down and we couldn't land, so they kept chopping the fly around, it was so much wind and, and I think it was a thunderstorm or something yeah. like that. It was scary. Damn, that, that's it actually intense. Actually scary to the point where um, Tokakai Clary was yeah. crying on the plane. Really? <laughs> <laughs> good deal, good deal. Oh, what about Earl, like, he, he seemed like real I started covering him when he turned pro. He's real down to earth guy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Not a big talker. Nah, he's not. He's to himself. Yeah, yeah. He's a funny dude, though. Once you get to know him, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who else stands out? Like any any other bonds you had? I know Thomas Hill, you know, T. Yeah, Hill. Yeah, yeah. T. Thomas, my boy, uh, Kenny Sanders Jr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Samaj Thomas, uh, you know, them all. Kenneth and Samaj both from Chicago too, right? Yeah, yeah. But what's the Chicago kind of like fighting scene like to you? Like, Man, it's a lot of it's a lot of great fighters. You know, they don't get the they don't get the recognition that they should. Get. You know, you got fighters like Josh Green that's put you know, fighters that's put Chicago on the map. Gotcha. Things like that. So, and then you still got you got Kenneth Sims that part of Showtime. Yeah, yeah. So now you know, I, I really believe Chicago is getting more exposure now. Gotcha. You know, when you as an amateur fighter, um, do you have like a real good kind of brotherhood with the with the people? Because they know what it's like being a fighter, so you kind of connect connect with them in that way. As far as who? Like just the amateurs you were around, like Earl Tank and all them. Do you guys kind of relate to one another just because you you know what it's like to live that fight life? Yeah, I mean now, I mean uh, as a pro now. I mean, I really don't see too much see them guys. Uh, but back then, I meant, oh, yeah, for example. Oh, yeah, back then, yeah, we, we, everything was, you know, everybody understood each other, you know. Right. Having to stay uh, at the training center for months at a time. Where, where was that at? Colorado Springs. What's it like being locked away in Colorado Springs and just doing nothing but focus on your crafts? It's cool for the first week or two, then you be getting homesick or you get bored. Like, yeah. The food real good, that's so, uh, tell us to get there. Start getting nasty. Got you. So you saw guys like Tank and Earl, um, Rashi Warren. You you already knew ahead of time they're gonna be champions, huh? Yeah, yeah, you already. Did you see no fight? I, I mean, I never seen nobody really beat him. Very rare to see somebody beat them. Even in the amateurs, huh? Now, what about as a pro? Everybody's talking Earl Spence and Crawford. That's a fight a lot of people talk about. What do you think of that matchup? I gotta go with Earl. Yeah. What What gets in the edge in that fight? Yeah, dog. He, he he relentless, and I, I and I haven't met nobody as strong as him yet. I'm seeing the world to weight that kick him as hard as him. Right. Especially to the body. Really? Now, Tank, they're talking Tank and Lomachenko for a while. A lot of people said Lomachenko would school him, but a guy like Earl said, well, Tank would smoke Lomachenko. For, wh how would you see that potential fight? It's a 50-50 fight to me. But I still got to go with Tank because Tank won't miss. So I'm still, I'm being, I mean, I don't know, people might say I'm being biased. I think, like, skill-wise, Lomachenko is pound for pound. He, he, he literally is one of the best, but in my opinion, if Tank hit him with one of the clean shots, then that can win anybody in the fight. So that's why I was saying Tank. Got you. Now, how can people follow you and keep up with you on social media and stuff? Uh, you know, my Instagram and Twitter, Sean underscore Simpson 2, S H A W N underscore Simpson, S I N P S O N, and then the number 2. Gotcha. That's, my, that's my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Alright, man. Good luck this weekend, right? Thank you.